The final space in our virtual tour is the McLean Foyer of Meditation. Dr. Armstrong wanted one room in the building where people could sit, think, and be inspired by the beauty around them. The room continues to be used for that purpose, as well as by Baylor School of Music for several concerts each year and for special programs by various Baylor organizations. Our foyer of meditation is a 40-foot cube with a 5-foot dome. The dome is 23 karat gold leaf. The workmen achieved that velvet-like texture by using their thumbs to press the gold leaf into the plaster when it was still wet. The two-ton chandelier is bronze and decorated with bells and pomegranates. The painting around the top of the room is an Italian garden scene. Quotes taken from Robert Browning's poetry are written on the walls of the garden. The stained glass windows in this room are intended to give the feeling of a sunrise or sunset and are in shades from pale lavender to amber. Two paintings at the end of the room are portraits of Robert Browning and Dr. Armstrong. The other two portraits are of Mars McLean and Verna Hooks McLean for whom the room is named. This alcove is called the Cloister of the Clasped Hands. It's the center of the Armstrong Browning Library and considered a romantic spot on campus. Numerous proposals have taken place here over the years. The clasped hands are a bronze casting of Robert and Elizabeth holding hands. Harriet Hosmer, an artist and friend of the Brownings, noticed that they often held hands and asked them if she might make a mold of their clasped hands. They agreed. The Met Museum in New York has another copy of this sculpture.